What's up guys? Doing a voiceover on this video. I had some music playing in the background and uh, I'm not really set up to add royalty free music and whatnot with my editing suite here. So what I figured is I'd just take the sound out and just do a quick voiceover. But I guess if you're watching this video, the reason you're watching it is because your chain break, your chain break is stuck. And uh, if you look in this picture down in the bottom right hand, you can kind of see on that silver ring, uh, that's what grabs the clutch bell on your uh, on your engine and makes your chain stop spinning. And what activates that is this little piece up here. This this rotates back and forth, and there's a spring behind this cover, and it makes that ring tighten or loosen. So what I've done is I took my scrunch and I just notched it so that when I'm out working on something, I can just pop it in here like this. Uh, and I'm going to take this chain break off real quick, real quick right here. Um, it's kind of unwieldy to hold this piece, but you, it, once you figure it out, it's not a big deal. But just rotate it. And see, now we've got the ring is fully expanded, so the clutch isn't going to be getting caught up in there. And uh, if you take the chain, I'm going to activate it real quick just so you can see the difference again. But turn the chain break on. And see right here, there's now there's a gap around. And come back one more time and just turn that off. Take the chain break off, and you can slide it right back on the uh, chainsaw that way. But all you really need to do is just take this thing, take your scrunch, and notch it with a die grinder um, so it'll fit down over this, and uh, you're good to go. That's really all it takes. So, yeah, make yourself one. But if you want to see how I made this one, what I did was all it's pretty simple. I just took it, laid it over this piece here and uh, took a sharpie and I'm just making sure that I'm marking it so that when I take the die grinder out I can cut it and uh, it'll fit. So it's real simple. I just took the sharpie, set this on here and started marking what looked like it'd be good enough until uh, until it was there. It was kind of a little fiddly trying to get in there a little bit but it's not bad. Took that I've got it mark, marked out nice, and then uh, I took the uh, the old die grinder, just started grinding away until I was happy with uh, the grind, and then what I did was I took it over to the bench vise and cleaned it up with a file, and that was that. Uh, so go make you one. I appreciate you watching.